everyone. All right, today we are going to make a really quick recipe. This is basically just um, some roasted almonds with cinnamon, maple syrup, and oats. And it really just is a way to um, add a little variety to almonds and make them just a little bit sweeter. Um, I love to snack on these, but also they make great toppings for things like pies um, or other, other desserts you might be making. You could also sprinkle them on yogurt, for example. Um, lots of different things you can do with these. So let me show you what we have today. Um, we have some gluten-free quick oats. Um, we have some whole almonds here, um, some maple syrup, and then our cinnamon. Um, so I make these all the time, but I've really never measured them out. And I'm kind of at the mercy today of what is left <laughs> or what I have. So this is all the almonds I have left. So I will just be using all of these and we'll figure it out as we go. So first let's start with the almonds and we will measure these out. Um, we'll start with the one cup here and see how much we get. So let's just fill this up. This is one cup of almonds. I think we're gonna get about two cups. Um, yeah, basically exactly two cups of almonds. Perfect, so two cups of almonds there. Um, next, we're going to do oats. So oats, I think we're gonna do about, let's start with two thirds of a cup. Yeah, oh, that looks like a lot actually. Let's just see here. Yeah, that will be good. So two thirds of a cup of almonds. And then for maple syrup, I typically don't add that much. I mean, this can depend on how sweet you want this. This is really up to you. Um, I think I'm going to go, I, a quarter cup looks like a lot. A quarter cup looks like a lot. Let me grab my one tablespoon. All right, so here's one tablespoon. We'll just measure a few of these, maybe like three of them. One, we'll start with two. We'll start with two tablespoons and see how that is. And we are going to do a half a tablespoon of, um, of cinnamon. So let's pour that in. There we go, half a tablespoon of cinnamon, that looks good. Now I'm going to just take my little spoons here and kind of mix it all together. Um, all right, we are gonna need more maple syrup. It's funny, I always think I don't use that much and then it's like, hmm, <laughs> maybe I actually use a little more than I thought. So we're gonna add another tablespoon. So that rounds it up to three tablespoons of maple syrup. And then we are just going to continue to mix this really well together. And I think that looks good. That looks like a good amount. So we'll just make sure that our almonds and oats and everything um, is mixed really well together. It will kind of make like, um, you'll see the oats kind of start to stick to the almonds, which is perfect. That's what you want. Um, so yeah, just make sure that you give it a really good stir so that everything is well distributed. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take a baking pan, so like a cookie pan or a cookie sheet, and align it with parchment paper. Um, and I've already done this, so I'm just going to grab it right here. And you're just going to pour your almonds your almonds on it. I'll just put the cream in here. There we go. We're just gonna pour this onto it. And once it's poured on, you'll want to make sure that it's really all the almonds are like spread, so they're not uh, they're not overlapping with each other. Basically, you want them to be as flat as possible because we're going to be roasting these in the oven at um, 325 degrees Fahrenheit, not for very long. You kind of want to roast them for about. I'd say five to eight minutes and then you take a spatula and kind of flip them around and then for another five or so minutes um, and then that's basically it so like I said super easy recipe so now that these are all flattened out what I'm going to do is pop them into the oven like I said 325 degrees Fahrenheit once again did not preheat my oven um, so that's kind of important in the sense that because I don't preheat my oven, um, the cooking time is probably a little bit more. Like if my oven were preheated, it would probably take like, you know, three minutes instead, um, <laughs> instead of the five to eight, but whatever, this is how I like to do it. So, um, I'm just going to roll with that. So 
I'm going to pop this in. Like I said, I will um, flip them kind of just not really like making sure that every single one is flipped perfectly. Um, more so I just take a spatula and kind of distribute them a little bit, try to flip a few over and then put it back in. Um, but I will come back when these are done and tell you exactly how long it took uh, between kind of putting them in, flipping and then taking them out. So I will see you in a few minutes. Thanks. All right, so it has been eight minutes and I have just pulled these out of the oven and we're going to stir them together. So literally I'm just taking a spatula and kind of um, moving them around a little bit. Um, you'll notice when you take them out of the oven that they are very fragrant. And so <laughs> um, this is a great sign, they smell delicious. And so literally we're just, yeah, stirring them around a little bit, flipping them over, and then making sure that they're all spread out nicely again. Um, I did mix them a little bit <laughs> right when I pulled them out, which thought I would uh, pop on to kind of show you exactly what I do with the spatula and how I, how I move them around. So now I flatten them all back out again, and I'm going to put them back in for about five minutes, I think and then I will come back and show you what the finished product looks like. Hello again, I am back. I just pulled these out of the oven. I let them, um, I left them in the oven for another like four and a half minutes, so just under five minutes. Basically, they were starting to get very fragrant and I could tell that they had um, browned enough. Um, so you'll notice that once they get very fragrant and the almonds start to darken in color, then that's when you want to pull them out. You don't want them to get too roasted or they'll actually taste a little burnt. Um, one thing that I forgot to note initially is that I am using raw almonds. So you can buy pre-roasted almonds and obviously you don't want to re-roast roasted almonds. <laughs> so in this case, we are using raw almonds and then roasting them. Um, so essentially these are now done. Let me show you a little bit closer, bit closer up what they look like. So you can see um, they brown nicely. The oats are kind of stuck to the outside of the almonds. Um, and they are, like you can see this one here, for example, is browned um, much more than the others here. So this one might be a little bit on the burnt side, but um, for the most part, they're like a nice, a nice browned color. Um, and if you could, if you were here, you would, you would smell the fragrance of them. It's, it smells quite lovely. Um, so now typically what I would do is, or I will be letting them sit on the counter for about 10 to 15 minutes. And then I will be scooping them into a, a glass sealed airtight container um, and putting them into the fridge. So um, fun tip, <laughs> nuts are actually uh, they will stay fresh a lot longer if you store them in the fridge. So I actually store all of my nuts in the fridge. The uh, same with seeds. So nuts and seeds in the fridge, they'll stay fresh longer, um, including these. So like I said, let them sit for a few minutes, um, then scoop them into an airtight container and then um, put them in the fridge. I will say I usually leave the lid off of my container when I put it in the fridge initially, just to let them cool completely so that condensation doesn't build up um, in the container and then make the almonds moist from the condensation so we don't want that so typically um, I let them cool completely in the fridge before I put that lid on um, but that is all uh, I hope you enjoyed making this with me thank you for joining me and uh, we'll see you in the next video bye